Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another CCNA networking tutorial video. So in this video, I am introducing you to the Packet Tracer software. So this is the part 2 of the video. In the part 1, I introduced you various networking devices options and connectivity options using uh, available to you in the Packet Tracer software. How you can insert a card on a router, how you can connect different devices to a switch and uh, how, how many options for connectivity is there I have introduced you all those in the first part of this video so in, this is the part 2 of the video where I will tell you rest of the features so I am using the packet tracer version 6.2 so let me show you different uh, networks I have created using packet tracer one network I have created where there is one router one TFTP server and one laptop this uh, network is basically used to show you the iOS upgradation procedure on a Cisco router or a switch. So I will make a video on this on how to uh, do the iOS upgradation activity on a router. So this is another network. Here the there are two VLANs are created. This is the first VLAN containing two devices and there is a second VLAN containing three devices and two switches are there. And basically the inter VLAN communication, the communication between two different VLANs uh, is explained, is done by the router. Now this is another network I have created. Here two routers are there connected uh, by WAN connectivity and as you can see there are two parallel WAN connectivity for load balancing. I will show you how to do EIGRP load balancing using dynamic routing protocol such as EIGRP, which stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Now, under one router, there is a switch and three de devices are there. Now, also with the core router, I have connected a wireless access point and I have connected two desktop PCs to this access point wirelessly. In my previous video, I told you how to uh, make a desktop work as a laptop by inserting a Wi-Fi card. Now right here there is a wireless router you can see two antennas are there. So this router by default works as a wireless router and I have also connected two PCs with this router. Now this is another simple network topology where I have implemented the route redistribution between two dynamic routing protocols EIGRP and RIP or routing information protocol. I will show now coming to this network, here I have implemented the VLSM or Variable Lens Subnet Masking for, uh, for varying the subnet mask for varying the number of users per subnet. I have created a video in my previous video. You can see and know about the VLSM technique for real life implementation. I have explained that over there. And now in this network, I have implemented the spanning tree protocol for mitigating the layer 2 switching loops. Spanning tree protocol basically uh, stops layer 2 uh, loops from forming. I will also show you in my later videos on the implementation of the spanning tree protocol. Also the RSTP or rapid spanning tree protocol. You can also implement uh, Cisco IP phone network, IP telephony, you can implement here using Cisco IP phone and uh, router. So let's open the IP phone here. So this is how IP phone looks. First you have to connect the charger to the IP phone. And now uh, IP phone is ready to work. You can see it's configuring VLAN. So in my videos, I will also tell you how to implement IP telephony on this packet tracer software. Now few more features of the packet tracer software. Here you can see real time is written. That means uh, it's now working in real time. You can also switch to simulation mode where you can actually trace a packet which is being sent from let's say this device to this device to this device. How the packet travels in the network. You can actually see or visualize it using the simulation mode. On the top 
there is a logical option so right now this is the logical topology you can switch between the physical and the logical topology also you can add your custom nodes for the devices here you can insert a node like a router one and so on you can also delete a device by clicking this cross icon and then tapping on the device you want to delete you can also search i think you can also draw polygon and other things here you can also fill them with the color if you need now you can resize the devices and you can also send pdu or packet data unit or protocol data unit from one device to another device so in my later videos i will show you the real implementation of the packet tracer software so that's it for now this is the end of the introduction video so i hope you enjoyed this video for more ccna tutorials visit my youtube channel so if you like the video don't forget to like and share the video that will really encourage me so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still there stay connected by subscribing